It's 2022 and our Instagram feeds all look like this. Meanwhile, our bank accounts all look like this. This would usually be a problem for holidays where gift giving is obligatory, but unlike past years where you would have to buy someone a platform pair of Uggs for $300 even though they're not going to use them Bruh. six months from now, people are actually starting to dig handmade, vintage, unique items. These are actually so easy to make and it's going to be something that someone actually wants to wear or use or display around their house, unlike the foot scrubs and the homemade bath bombs of 2010 Pinterest. So today I have 50 DIY projects that you can gift this Christmas that people are actually going to want. Let's get into it. Now the first category we are gonna be going into is fashion. And I think this is probably your biggest opportunity to create something that somebody is gonna really enjoy and also wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Now one of the easiest and most timeless options for DIYing your clothes is to create custom shirts. I think what makes this even cooler and more unique is if you go out and thrift something. And then from there, you have plenty of options to customize you can either choose to use textile paints or heat transfers, embroidery. I remember there was this really cute designer shirt, I think it was designer, where they put lipstick stains all over this button up and I think that's something that could be a really good idea and very unique as well. Another variation of this is to create your own canvas tote. Canvas is very easy to customize. Again, same type of techniques that you would use on a shirt, you could do that on a tote as well. We've also been seeing a lot of the LL Bean custom monogram totes around and that's something that you could just very easily do at home with a blank tote or something you picked up at the thrift store. Having a baseball cap or a bucket hat is also a really cute idea. You can just embroider maybe like a little flower, hearts, their name, initials, tons of options with this as well. Now, I know some of you are not entirely comfortable creating your own piece of clothing from scratch. I do think there is some charm in, you know, painting or sewing something, even if you don't think it turned out the best. But if you don't wanna do that, print on demand sites are a great alternative. Some of the ones I've used in the past include Printful, Printify, just tons of tons of options. And they don't just do t-shirts. They actually can create phone cases or rugs or like custom Snuggies. And all you have to do is just go into the site, upload your design. They are going to print it for you and send it to you. Pretty crazy. Now, one trend that has really taken off these past few years, and especially in 2022, is upcycling. And there are so many ways that you can upcycle clothing from the thrift store and create something really unique and really wearable. I mean, a lot of the designer stuff that we're seeing that's being sold for hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Incredibly simple to do at home. And it's even better because once that trend dies, whoever you gave this to is still gonna be able to wear it because it's gonna feel unique and special to them and not the same carbon copy of what everyone else has. So a couple ideas for this would be to recreate the Miu Miu micro mini skirt. I think this would be so cute if you just took a plaid skirt from the thrift store, cut off the bottom a little bit, add in some fabric. There's also always an option to add patches or iron-ons to a t-shirt or a purse just to give it like a little bit more flair and style. And if these seem really complicated, another really simple one you could do is to just cut off parts of the clothing. We're seeing a return in like the wide neck off shoulder type of shirt. So you could easily go in and get a basic crew neck or a graphic t-shirt and just cut off the regular neckline to make it a little more updated. I also really love customized denim. I've seen a lot of painted denim jackets in the past. I think these are super unique and if you have any sort of painting background or you just kind of want to give it a go and do maybe like a simple graphic, this is definitely something that I think someone would treasure for a really long time. Now these next two don't exactly fit in the category of fashion because they're not something you would wear, but they do use upcycled clothing. And that is to create your own quilted or patched blanket. I think this is also something that's pretty unique. A lot of people really like having statement items for their home that feel very unique to them. And this could be a very good option for that. You could also make custom pillows. I've had friends make me pillows from scratch with new fabrics before, but I think if you were to go to a thrift store and get a fabric that you thought was really interesting. That could be another way to display something unique to someone's home. Another DIY project that I think was popular maybe five years ago, not so much now, is customizing your own sneakers. I know people still do this more as like an art form, not really a fashion statement. That is an option if you want to take like an Air Force One or a New Balance or an updated silhouette and customize that with textile paints. But if you want to make this a true 2022 into 2023 staple piece, 
I think it would be really cute to upcycle a pair of cowboy boots. I've started seeing a lot more statement versions of these, whereas I think the last few years we were focusing mostly on like black, white, very simple colorways. And now there's all these celestial prints, animals, create more of a fashion forward look. And that's something that's really easy to do with a basic pair that you could get for pretty cheap on like Poshmark or Depop and just update it to create something that is a lot more fun than just your standard pair of boots. Can't talk about trendy DIYs without mentioning crochet. Crochet has taken over the fashion world in the last few years and especially the last two years where we're just seeing so many different crocheted items coming out of these designer brands and they're so expensive even though they're pretty simple in terms of design. So some more kind of like modern present ideas would be to knit a balaclava. Not really my style but I know a lot of people are into these. There's also been a ton of those crop tops with like the wide straps and the flowers and I've seen people do these for their first crochet projects. Probably something you could pick up. I don't really know. I don't crochet. Probably gonna regret saying that the first time I try it. Also been loving the crochet bags. Again, think that's something that somebody could use on a daily basis and they're really gonna love you for giving it to them as a gift and not having to spend $500 on one. Then we also have our classic beanies and scarves. And finally, I think a leg warmer set or an arm warmer set. Are they called arm warmers? I think we're only gonna see more and more of these as we move into winter 2023 with the rise of ballet core. Now jewelry is also something that has been classically DIY forever but we are kind of entering this era of very lo-fi handmade crafty looking necklaces and bracelets. So I think there's a lot of opportunity here especially this year to create something that somebody will like. Number one I think the easiest and most obvious option for this is to create a beaded customized kind of friendship style bracelet. These also work for necklaces. I've seen a lot of companies sell these for crazy prices and all you have to do is walk into a Michael store and buy a beading kit for like 10 bucks and you can create all your gifts for all your friends this year. And especially if you're adding on their names or or like a phrase or inside joke, I think that's something that is going to be special to them for years to come. And kind of piggybacking off of that, the beaded ring trend is also something that would be super easy, very cute to do, very easy to package if you're sending good gifts to friends and mailing them. And again, just something that can bring a little bit of flair to somebody's accessories. Another option other than beads is to use polymer clay. If you've ever played with Sculpey when you were a kid, it's kind of like Play-Doh except you can bake it and it will harden and last for a very long time. Super easy to use, way easier than traditional pottery. Lots of options for this. You can get into clay earrings, clay rings. I think these were pretty popular maybe last year coming into this year. There's also this necklace from Susan Alexandra and I love that all these charms are customized. I don't like the price tag for what it is so I would love it if someone actually went out and made this for their friends. I think it's very special, very cute, something that people are going to get a lot of compliments on. Another option for rings would be to do wire rings. This is also another really like cheap accessible type of project where you can make tons of gifts for lots of people at a very low price point. All you have to do is get a spool of wire, get some wire cutter bender things and you can create lots of cool designs. Now one of my favorite DIY projects for this year is actually going to be the oversized pendant and ribbon trend. I've been seeing this a lot mostly online not really in real life so it's still kind of like a fashion forward thing I would say which makes it a really great gift idea because it's going to have longevity and people are going to be wearing it into next year. And I've seen a lot of brands sell these for example Vanessa Mooney has this one for $80 yeah, and all you have to do, again, go to Michael's. Michael's is your best friend. They have tons of pendants, tons of beading and ribbon and everything you could ever want. Now, if you want something that is a little bit more timeless and personalized, I really suggest looking into creating a customized locket. Again, getting a pendant and a chain is really inexpensive from a craft store. And all you're gonna do is go and print out whatever it is you wanna put in there, whether that's you and your partner or your family, friends, dog, you get the point. And I think this is something that somebody would really treasure for a long time because it is so personalized. Now for a really cool gift, I suggest going to Inkbox's website. They make temporary tattoos that last, I think it's like a couple days, maybe a few weeks. And they do have 
pre-made designs, but there's an option to go in and create your own designs and they will print them for you and send them to you. Just a really fun way to accessorize that people don't really think about. If you've ever gone to a studio and try to get something like gel extensions, you would know it is very expensive, which is why I think we're starting to see a lot of people try to do this themselves at home. So if you have a friend who really likes getting their nails done but they complain about the price or maybe they just really like doing their own nails at home, you can actually create your own set of press-ons for them. All you have to do is paint them at home, let them dry, and then you give them to your friend and they apply them just like any other press-on nail. And our last option for the fashion section is to create your own custom perfume. There are a lot of different kits online that you can get where they have the different base notes and you can kind of mix and match them and figure out a smell that you think would fit your friend or family member. And there you go, you got something that has been customized just for them. Now moving on to home and hobbies. Circling back to the whole crochet trend, there's definitely plenty of ways you can apply this to someone's home. You could crochet like one of those big chunky knitted blankets which would be super cozy for winter. I've also seen these like really cute dainty bookmarks that people make. Coasters, always a great option. Another trend I've seen pick up especially in the last year is tufted rugs and if you have this sort of skill or you think you could do it at home it is a little bit more pricey but it's something that again I think someone is really going to use for a very long time. Another alternative could be to treat them to a rug tufting class. There was actually one that I was gonna go to in Brooklyn back when I was living in New York. And then instead of just a gift for them, you also get your own rug and you get to spend time together. So it's like a three birds with one stone scenario. Candles are a huge thing, always have been, always will be. I've seen a lot of options for filling objects on Pinterest. So a like teacup candle or a shell candle. I think these could be really cute options. The last few years, we've also seen a rise in these like quirky Danish pastel squiggly candles and these are really simple to make if you want to do that. And a really inexpensive category for the home is to take thrifted ceramics or glassware and repurpose them. So a really easy option for this is to just take a glass cup, maybe like a mug or a plate, and you can just paint it with whatever design you want seal it and now you have a custom piece of dishware. You can also do this with vases or pitchers. I think if you did a vase it'd also be really cute to deliver it with a flower inside. I've also seen people customize mirrors. You can either paint them or there was like this squiggly polymer clay trend for a while. Typically board games are another really common gift option for Christmas and I think there's a really great opportunity to make your own custom board games. You can create a custom deck of cards either with photos or drawings or designs. I also saw like a custom clue game on Pinterest the other day and I got really excited about it. I kind of want to make it myself but you basically just print out your own pictures of you know like celebrities or even people you know and paste them onto to the game and that would just be so fun to give someone and to actually play with a group of friends especially if it was mutual people you know. Another trend that has made a comeback kind of from like the Y2K era, I think it was from Y2K, I don't know, just middle school era I guess, is the phone charm. A lot of people do these with just beads or like small clay figures. One project I also did recently was to create like a mini painting. You can find these really cheap tiny easels and like four by three inch canvases that you could paint for someone. And what I love about this is if you're not someone who is big on painting, just the restriction of the size is going to force you to create something really simple, but it still looks really cute as a display item in someone's home. Custom picture frames are also a classic. We've seen a lot more like quirky, colorful designs in the past few years and there are some brands that'll sell just like a simple striped frame for hundreds of dollars and this is something you could easily do in an afternoon. Another option for a picture frame is to take some acrylic and press flowers between it. I think this is a really cute idea if you want something maybe a little more unique than your traditional picture frame. Now the hype of bullet journaling kind of died down I think this last year but I know a lot of people that still do it. Still a really big community online and if you know someone who either does a lot of journaling or has been trying to get into it, maybe needs help organizing their life, I think making a custom bullet journal for them would be really thoughtful. You could either just keep it simple and maybe decorate the cover with their name or stickers, but if you want to take a step further, you could actually go in and create the months and the weeks and lay them out for them in advance. So it's maybe a little less intimidating for them to get started. I think a really interesting and completely free gift you could do if you really don't want to spend any money is to set up 
a Notion for them. I know a lot of people want to get into Notion. They all think it's really cool, but they get a little intimidated in starting, which is why there's such a big community of people selling templates and kind of starter guides. So if you are someone who is familiar with Notion, I think going in and creating their dashboard and just different pages you think they would like and adding images and stickers that would be really customized for them, I think someone would really appreciate the thought and the effort that went into that. Now something else I think could be really special if you want to play in kind of like the digital space is to create a custom playlist. You know, back in the day we would have these burned mixtapes tapes that people would give you on CD. The modern version of that is to make someone a Spotify playlist, but if you want to take this kind of a step further, Spotify actually has its own like QR code where somebody can scan it and access the playlist directly. I think one really cute idea is to go to a thrift store and find like a cassette tape and then print out that QR code and paste it on there and give it to them as a mixtape, kind of like an analog meets digital version. And then the final gift in this category is to create a custom hand sanitizer Obviously don't create the actual chemical, but I'm talking more in terms of like the design of the dispenser. There were these little canisters. I think it was maybe Touchland is the brand. They created like these colorful, clear, kind of like larger hand sanitizers. And if you went and painted that or maybe put on some like custom stickers, I think that would also be a very nice idea for someone to keep them clean in the new year. Now I just have one more category. This is gonna be a quick one and that is food. Now, of course you always have the option to bake cookies invite people over for a dinner party, lots and lots of classic ways to gift someone food. But if you want to do something that's maybe like a little more elevated, I would suggest maybe doing like a drink mixer or some sort of infusion if you know somebody really likes a certain like herb or spice. And in that same vein, you could also do a flavored olive oil with different infusions. And finally, I think making a custom hot sauce if you have the skills to do that is also a really great gift for someone. And we're not done yet. As a bonus, I have one extra DIY gift that will cost zero dollars, take two seconds and make someone extremely happy and that is liking and subscribing. Now I hope this video gave you at least a little bit of inspiration on different ways that you can get creative this holiday season without spending a lot of money. But if you feel like you are not confident enough to execute a lot of these ideas, then you should watch this video next.